had inspiration at home only. Many would argue that sports are in your jeans. Mein hai. Aapne, you come from that legacy. But um, there are two sides to it. Uh, the burden of legacy and the advantage of legacy. How would you uh, elaborate on that? As we were discussing inside, Kapil Paji put it well, that there are a few of us kids who have taken to sport after our parents have been champions. The pressure that I felt at home as a young boy to be successful in a sport, I'm not sure how it would have been if I took up hockey or basketball. I feel that the other thing that sports con contributes to India is the true essence of democracy. Anju and myself play individual sports, but the other athletes who are on that track with us or on that tennis court with us could come from different walks of life could come from different communities, could come from different religions, different cultures. If I ask Kapil Paji, the different teammates he had in his career. You know, we'll to get me, to that. He's one of, to me, Kapil Paji is one of the greatest leaders and captains we've had in India because he took a community of young cricketers and made them champions by his example. For me, I think sport can unite a full nation. It does not matter. Whether you are Hindu, whether you are Christian, whether you are Muslim, whether you are Sikh, it does not matter whether you come from a different caste. It does not matter whether you eat non-veg or veg. At the end of the day, sport is the greatest uniter to live a true democracy. Very well said, Leander. I completely agree with you, and that's possible in a team sport. But you know, there is this um, allegation, if I may say, against tennis particularly. Sports like tennis and golf, they are elite sport. They are not masses sport. How many of uh, the kids that you see in academies, they come from, um, you know, a lower middle class background or from poor families? Is, is that seen? Is that common? It's not, right? Well, allegation is a, is a strong word. Oh, maybe, yeah. <laughs> in that, maybe. I feel like even me, when I grew up as a young boy, it wasn't that I was born to a father or a mother who had millions of dollars. I was born in the, in the 70s and in the 80s when I had to hone the skills and the hard work and the training, India did not even have foreign exchange. We did not have credit cards. We did not have foreign bank accounts. So hence, whatever sponsorship or whatever monies that my father could get together, thanks to the sports minister at that time, we were able to convert it into dollars. Or the talent that I had, uh, academies like the International Management Group, they gave me a scholarship to go there and play for free. Hmm. This is one of the things that I feel like an Anju Bobby George adds so much to female athletes and young aspiring girls in our country. Is that sport is also a vehicle to educate yourself. Sport is a vehicle to get yourself a job. And I'm very proud to say that I play the only sport on this planet where tennis is the only sport that has equal prize money, equal opportunity true. and equal rights for male and for females. Very true. I'm just corrected on that. Anju says athletics also has the same. <laughs> yeah, ideas of India.